So you had made a comment about a young magician that was showing some fantastic moves uh, to a lot of different people. Yeah. And the comment that you made that I thought was very insightful was we have to be careful about um, ruining him with praise. Essentially ruining him with praise. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and that, when I heard that, it, it made me think of a, a lot of different things. But two things came up. Uh, the first thing that came up was uh, there's this terrific John Carney quote um, that's in uh, the beginning of, uh, of one of his books. Uh, it's Carnicopia, I believe, uh, although it's possible it's the Book of Secrets, but I believe it's Carnicopia. And the quote was, it's okay to think that you're good as long as you never think that you're good enough. Yeah. Uh, and I always liked that quote because um, I, I do think that I'm good with a deck of cards, but I think if, if there's something that's, ever, that's driven me forward, it's that it's that des desire to get better, even if it only incrementally better. And while we were thinking about that, while I was thinking about that, um, it occurred to me that that at 11 or 10 or 12 years old, it's okay to just be a move collector. Yeah. You know, someone that just has all of these different uh, different moves can do a ton of different moves mm -hmm. uh, extremely well, as long as you don't get stuck there yeah uh, and I kind of made the analogy about someone that collects tools but never builds anything you know and uh, if you want to be a tool collector that's fine uh, but a lot of guys uh, uh, fall into the trap of they they claim that they're magicians and what they really are are tool collectors yeah um, and it reminded me of a quote from a movie that I know you've probably seen called dead again with yeah. Kenneth, Kenneth Branagh and there's a scene in that movie where he goes and finds Robin Williams and Robin Williams is like uh, in the freezer or something like mm -hmm. that. And uh, Branagh is trying to quit smoking. And Robin Williams uh, says a couple of things to him. They, they share a little conversation. At the end, Robin Williams says, uh, with regard to the smoking, uh, you're either a smoker or you're not. Find out what you are and be that. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's a good thing to keep in the back of your mind when you're trying to figure out who you are in magic. If you want to be... Uh, a guy that just collects tools. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing. Just don't present yourself as yeah. a carpenter because yeah. you're going to run into some problems. Um, well, you know that the whole thing is, you know, that comment was based on the fact that, you know, when you're 11 years old and you get too much praise for anything, no matter how great you are, it's a very difficult thing to deal with. It's equally difficult to deal with when you're 20, 30, 40, and I'm sure older. It's it's a as a human being, you've got to put yourself in perspective. And as you said, you're never going to be good enough if you if you have the right balance of confidence and aspiration. Right. And if you have that, that's really great. But also, yeah, if you want to be a tool collector, that's great. You can have all the tools in the box. If you want to learn how to use them, you may that may be something that comes later. It right. may be something that, 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 that starts when you're... You know, slightly older, you see someone. I mean, I think a great example of that is Marty Gilbert, who came here the first year with these amazing slights. Now he's doing magic tricks, right. not just sleight of hand magic tricks, but really, you know, powerful effects. Sure. And he's inspired by the Tamara's um, approach to magic and the, you know, that desire for real powerful effects. And so, yeah, you can be anything you want to be, and I think you can aspire to be something different. You can choose to go in a different direction. It's the great thing about magic is you can never do it all. You've got to right. choose your own paths. And how you get there is, is, by, is by effort. Sure. And I, I like the word that you use, choose, because I, I was going to say that a lot of people, I think, they sort of practice everything that comes across their desk yeah. kind of aimlessly and they wind up being tool collectors but if you ask them was that the goal they would tell you no I, I wanted to be a magician but I wound up collecting tools because I couldn't stop looking at the shiny new wrench mm -hmm. or the pointy new screwdriver long enough to build anything with the tools I kept going from one tool to the next and you can get caught in this trap with books yep I have bought magic books that I found on my shelf years after I bought them and went, you know, I never read that. Yeah. You know, what was I thinking? I bought it, and but I got caught up in that, 
you know, buying the book and putting it on the shelf as if the information was going to leap off the page into my head. You know, I became a book buyer yeah. and I found that I wasn't reading them the way I used to read them when I first got into magic. So I purposefully uh, stopped buying magic books and got caught up on all my reading. It took a year. Uh, I remember doing it. Yeah. Um, so whatever you do in magic, I think you should do it with purpose. You should do it purposefully. If you want to be a tool collector, knock yourself out. Be a tool collector and be a great tool collector. Mm -hmm. But if you want to be a magician, you might want to step back and take a look at what you're doing and make sure you're not um, accidentally just collecting tools while you think in your head that you're being a, an entertainer or a magician or an inventor or a historian or yeah. whatever. You know, do whatever you want to the do thing with purpose. The thing that will stop you in any endeavor is deciding you've arrived somewhere when you haven't even gotten right. on the bus. Right. But it's it's like if you want to be a if you want to tell people you're a movie director but you don't spend time directing movies because you think it's cool to say you're that. If you sit, you know, if you want to say you're a magician but you don't want to put the time in to performing, to actually learning the art and the and the craft behind the art. You know, yeah. it, it happens a lot. It's easy to put a label on yourself. It takes a lot of work to actually earn that way. Yeah, live up to that yeah. level. Yeah. Now let's grab a bite to eat. Let's eat.